guys, I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. We're here with Greg Mark from Mark Forged. Uh, come on over here, look at this. So, this is a carbon fiber 3D printed object, right? Right. So now we, so we do carbon fiber and then fiberglass and Kevlar. So you're making 3D printers that can squirt out like essentially stuff that's as hard as metal. You got it. All right, so why don't you tell us how this works? Okay, so we have two print heads. We have a first print head that prints plastic. Okay. So in this case, we do nylon, and as you asked, it goes out at a 260C. And then we have a we invented a new print head, which is the second one, switches automatically in a given layer to embed full continuous strand carbon fiber in the part. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to be able to, I can't break this. You know, I'm not supposed to be able to break this, right? Go for it. If you break it, you get a printer. Really? With your hands. My hands. I, it's really hard. It's really I'm very hard. weak, though. <laughs> and uh, and you're also you're able to embed electronics in there? Yes. Yeah, so we have here is a custom orthotic, and it has a few new things. We have uh, overprint tube electronics. Okay. So our print, we have a precision print bed, which you can remove and reinsert, and it clicks in place with 10 micron accuracy. So you can embed electronics. In the case of this uh, drone, we've embedded, we've embedded uh, hard mounting points, mm -hmm. so nuts that you can screw into. Oh, so it's a solid drone. There's no... Exactly. exactly. So this, is, so this drone is made in two halves. This half, this half, a top and a bottom, and the bolts go all the way through the drone into inserts that are printed into this top part. Okay. So, well, you guys launched this thing last year, but when, when are you releasing the product? This. So we started shipping about three months ago. Okay. And now we're shipping volume. The current wait time is about 17 weeks, uh, and you can print either in plastic or carbon, fiberglass or Kevlar. Okay. So and how much? How much is the printer? The printer is five and a half thousand. Oh, okay. So it's uh, it's pretty affordably priced. So this is for folks who want to essentially prototype metal, right? Or exactly. So, uh, so you can do things that have the strength to weight of metal, mm -hmm. or you can actually, with the composites, we do this unique uh, sandwich panel. So we'll put composite on the top and the bottom and make the middle a, a nice structure of plastic. Okay. So you can get a higher strength to weight ratio than metal. So this part, again, this is an extremely strong and you can show people a very lightweight mm -hmm. wrench. And in this one, we've also embedded a RFID sensor. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine you're, you know, GM and you have a work cell of all these different tools and fixtures that you've made and you want to make sure that everything is still in that cell you can go around with an RFID reader and pick it all out. Okay, how did you guys get started? Uh, we started with a bunch of aerospace engineers. We started, uh, I think we have some... Can we put on the, I guess we can move to the, the phone here. So we have, this is a Ferrari F43 challenge car in a rolling road wind tunnel and we make the uh, carbon fiber race car wing in the back of it. Okay. So we've been doing uh, composites and computer control systems for a long time and then we, uh, we were working in another company where we made these uh, off-grid solar power units, and we needed to make a version for the military. Mm -hmm. We prototyped it in plastic and then had to make it out of metal, and that was when the idea came, hey look, if we embedded carbon fiber in this plastic, it would be as strong as metal. Interesting. So these are all one, each layer is just one... Uh, continuous strand. One continuous strand. So actually, uh, my fiance came up with a good analogy for this. You can kind of see, it looks almost like a uh, wood grain mm -hmm. pattern. So the strength is in the direction of the grain, but what's unique about this product is we can actually take one strand and go continuously around the entire layer. Conversely, if you take like, you can also use you know, chopped fiberglass, but then it's more like particle board. Yeah. So continuous is like wood, chopped is particle board, and then uh, regular uh, nylon is like the glue. All right, and where can people find this thing? Uh, it's available on markforged.com or through a network of resellers. Mark forged, no, Mark not forged. the 3D, okay. Yeah. All right, very cool. Thank All you. All right, thanks a lot. I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch. We're going live from the show floor very shortly. Uh, keep watching our coverage of CES 2015 in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching.